welcome to day eight of Vlogmas from the One Lonely Owl YouTube channel. My name is Terry. I will first off apologize for my raspy voice. It seems as though I have, I guess I caught a bug of sorts, maybe, I'm not certain. I feel okay. My body feels fine, just my voice sounds a bit funny, so I will apologize in advance for that. You will have just seen some footage of me opening our advent, my advents today, and um, I've got some really cute things. I love me some stitch stoppers, so I got a little set of hexagonal stitch stoppers from um, Hasty Knit and Polka Dot Creek, and the skein of yarn from Cozy, um, Comfy Cozy Knits. So, really excited about those two. I don't. I should probably mention this because I haven't yet. I don't actually do advent knits with my advent calendars. I know a lot of people will do, like, for example, in this particular advent, you can get a copy of a cowl that is written by Shelley DuPont of Polka Dot Creek. And um, I don't do advent knits. I have three. Three. I believe, advent calendars, because I've done three years um, of advent, yarn advent calendars, and I have not yet knit anything with them. My plan, quite honestly, is to collect them and then sort them into, I'm not really uh, a big fan. Any of my friends that are watching this are probably all laughing because they know how I don't like randomness, so... I've got a fair collection now. I'm going to start to do things like, I think I mentioned, it was either yesterday or the day before, about I've got enough sock yarn to start a Christmas leftover project. So I will likely do a Christmas one and then maybe I'll make some plans and do some colors, uh, putting some light colors together or some complementary colors together so that I could do a project that will work that way. Um, but yeah, I have never actually done an advent knit and I have not other than using maybe one for heels, toes, and cuffs, I've never actually used a um, mini from an advent yet because I want to collect them and make it into um, make it into something that's a bit more color coordinated because I like when things coordinate as opposed to being random. Let's see uh, today. First off, I'll say yesterday, um, if you looked, if you watched yesterday's Vlogmas, you would have seen some pictures of the afternoon, uh, the productivity that was had in the afternoon when I spent my uh, lunch hour and a couple of hours after decorating for my son's Christmas, Christmas concert at his school. We, there was a group of moms, all from the grade one class that got together and did this, and it was so uplifting. I met some new friends, which I'm really excited about. I live in a small town and I'm new here, so I don't know many people. So I have a couple of new friends and I was able to pull together, we were able to pull together something that I think is pretty spectacular. So if you haven't yet seen that episode, you can go back to Vlogmas Day 7. And at the end, I've got a couple of pictures of the stage and a little photo booth that we put together. And like I said, I'm pretty proud of that. Um, so that was the rest of my day yesterday. Today has been very low key. Actually, I might see if I can go outside and try to get some footage of the weather. So it has been snowing since last night and it's been accumulating. So it is like a thick, dense, wet snow. Although there's not a ton of it, there is a lot more than we had yesterday was, you know, the ground was dry. Today it's, you know, maybe uh, two inches, I don't know, five, six centimeters of snow. So it's enough that it's accumulating on the ground and um, enough that it changes the atmosphere. It looks very beautiful and Christmassy out there. So if I have the opportunity, I'll go out and I'll take a little bit of footage so that you can see how much snow we actually have. What else? I've spent the afternoon, um, you would have already seen some of this footage, but I've spent part of my afternoon actually crocheting a cushion cover. So 
I'll give you the short version of the story. My husband has these two couch cushions that he absolutely loves. Um, you know, like a throw cushion for your couch. He loves to take a nap on them. And one of them, they're both very old. One of them had start started to show some wear on the backside where he likes to sleep on them. So I decided that I was going to make a cushion cover for that. And I had sort of tossed around the idea and I didn't get to it and I didn't get to it. Finally, yesterday, I had had enough and I had to wash the pillows because they were absolutely rancid and um, decided that I was just going to start making the cushion cover whether he wanted me to or not because the cushion cover that was on it was ripped and torn and in tatters. So I started making a uh, granny square. I'm just going to do a granny square and then put some buttons along the top so you can take it off and still wash everything okay. Um, but yeah, so I started doing that. So you would have seen some footage already of me doing the granny square. My plan is hopefully to get at least one of those done today and then maybe start the second one so that I can have the cushion covered sooner rather than later. I do still have my world's simplest mitts that I did not finish because I started doing the granny square instead. Um, and there's a couple of other projects that are not necessarily hibernating. They're just sort of waiting their turn. So actually the flax light you've heard me talk about before, not on Vlogmas, Vlogmas, but on other podcast episodes. The flax light is waiting its turn. The um, harvest cardigan is waiting patiently for its turn to come back around again. I still haven't decided if I'm going to rip out the boxy worsted, the worsted boxy by Hohi Locatelli. I'm a little bit nervous about whether I'm going to have enough time to get another sweater done in time. Seeing as it is the 8th of... December. I have very little time left. And I'm being distracted by all the other shiny things like cushion covers, so we shall see how that goes. Um, this evening, my children are going with their grandma and grandpa to... There's a Christmas train that runs through Canada, and it has a couple of stops in our town, in a neighboring town near us. So Grandma is going to come pick up the kids, and she's going to take them there, which they're excited about. If, um, if I do get any photos of just the Christmas train, I may pop some in here, but if there are any with my children in it, I'm, like I said before, my children are not old enough to consent, and I am not willing to consent for them. Um, to put their faces on the internet, so I will leave them off for now. But I think that's all for my little update for right now. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to go back and do a bit more crocheting. Hopefully I'll be able to get at least one square of the cushion cover completed tonight, and then who knows what I might pick up. I may pick up the mittens again. Um, and because I don't have my kids, I don't have to worry about doing bath time or bedtime or anything like that, so I can have a lot of inter uninterrupted crochet or knitting time, so I'm going to spend my time doing that. Uh, I think that's all for now. I don't have much else. If I don't come back, I will say goodbye right now, just in case. Um, if I do come back, I'll say goodbye again, but so long for now, and we will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye now.